<laughs> right then, okay, so I'm going to show you how to make a very simple DVD in DVD Studio Pro. Yeah. Okay. So I can know all the other stuff you did, the can, whatever it was. Yeah, so okay. this is um, so standard definition Edition, DVD, PAL, um, yeah. Extended menu. Okay, so what we need to do is, um, if you go to graphical, you can see you get an option, there's a menu, but we don't want a menu. Oh. We just, you don't want a menu, you just need it to play yeah. when you put it in, yeah? yeah? So, track one, okay, you can see that, that little thing there, that disc with the plus sign, that means first play. So this is the thing you want to happen when you first put the DVD in. So we don't want it to go to a menu, we want it to go straight onto the track one. Okay. So we right click that and put first play. Yeah? So there you see that that icon is now on first play, yeah? So now I can... I right clicked onto first play, yeah, track one. Yeah, track one and click first play. Okay. And then I'm going to click back on the menu, right click and delete the menu, because we don't want a menu. Okay? So, so now we've just got track one and it will play when we put the DVD in, okay? So, so now I've put it in the movies folder anyway. I can drag it onto that icon and there it goes. How did you get it onto that? As soon as I put it into the movies folder, it actually oh, right. shows up okay. in here. Yeah, it's just, it's just been Does pedantic. Does the movies folder usually under that? Um, let's make an icon there, it's movies. Okay. So movies, is, it's in part of the user. So under your user, you've got animation is the user. And under there, that's where your movies folder is. It's like your documents folder, but just for movies. Okay, so now that's in there. And you can see, uh, cool. I can double click that and it will give me the track, which is, you know, a bit like Final Cut, but it's really limited. Mm -hmm. you, you know, it's a really horrible thing to try and put clips next to each other because they don't snap properly and the audio doesn't stay. So it's best to edit everything beforehand in Final Cut. So, but now, do you, do you want it to loop when it gets to the end or just, yeah. Okay, so to make it loop, what we have to do is go onto our clip here. So it's got end jump. Mm -hmm. And in there, you just go tracks and back to the track. Uh, so end jump, it starts it again. Yeah. Okay. And then what we can do, do is it 16.9 or 4.3? The project? Is it the ratio 16.9 or is it 4.3? Uh, I guess it's 6.9. 6.9. So it doesn't nine. matter too much, but we can put 16.9 on there for the display mode. There you go. So it just shows it better there. Uh, and then what we can do is simulate, which will then play the project as though it was a DVD, yeah? Everyone's good. Um, we can make it 16.9. No. 